In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share models with your team uh, using a 360 drive uh, relatively easily. Uh, so here I'm already logged into a 360 drive. Uh, the link is provided in my blog post. And as you can see that there is one file here um, that is, is created. And this file is actually generated via my enterprise platform. Again, this is just one method that I've been using. And in essence, uh, I can automate this that generates a file to a local directory, which is where the A360 drive app um, looks at this file and at, in essence syncs this folder with the cloud. So very similar to a, a OneDrive or a Dropbox, very similar, but it ends up being in, on the Autodesk um, cloud. So this way I can uh, automatically generate my files once a day, once a week, and it gets automatically published to um, the A360 drive. So the benefit that uh, A360 drive has is the similar benefit that it is purely cloud-based, that right now I'm just uh, doing this through my browser with no plugins and so forth with all the greatness of um, the cloud. And as I've shown many times before, the performance is actually pretty good. Um, it's about um, I don't know, 8,000, 9,000 parts for this model, so not too big. It's a couple units worth. Um, but you can see the navigation is pretty good to interrogate the model, to, sh um, to look at the designs and so forth. But you also get other or other features from a navigation perspective. Um, you can actually even get properties. So if you actually click on a part uh, that it is a uh, rich model that has um, your, you know, your primary product hierarchy, it has um, stock information, the plate nest, if it's nested or not, its weight, manufacturer, and any other user-defined attributes that you have. So it allows you to um, to look at this information pretty good. You also have the 3D um, sectioning, if you ever want a section to help you look at um, your model. Um, again, the performance actually looks pretty good when you're actually looking at this. Again, this is uh, can be done through your phone or mobile device. Another key thing also is that it has um, these views that automatically, in essence, depending on how you structure your ship constructor project, um, you can kind of uh, interrogate it this way as well. So for example, if we want to look at the bilge and ballast system, you can kind of see uh, the bilge and ballast system in your in your project. And there's settings, you know, obviously this is, uh, the transparency doesn't look too good on this one. Um, you can actually change that in uh, the settings, which I will not change for now, but you at least get the idea of the functionality that you can get. But the, the real benefit that you get with a 360 is actually uh, the idea of, of the sharing. Um, so you can share this model, and because it's sharing the model that's always getting up to date, it's always going to be the latest version. So if you're sharing with your uh, partners or your subcontractors are sharing with you, if it's a requirement, um, but I see a lot of uh, even some managers wanting to get this kind of view just to, to see how the model is going, where they don't want to install the native app or uh, require a license. So the key, nice thing that you have here is that you can invite people, but when you invite people, um, so we'll say someone at somewhere. When you invite people, you have you can set the permission that you uh, will allow them to this model. So the default one is view, which is very powerful. That if you just want to give someone uh, access to this model without them downloading it, so they can only access it through the browser, and then when you break the link, they cannot see it anymore. So if it's time bound, um, it's actually pretty secure in the case that now you don't have these files of your projects. Um, being passed across all these uh, subcontractors and partners that just require to view and visualize the data. Uh, but you also have um, other permissions that you allow where they can uh, view and download, so they can view it and they can download the Navsworks model or even download and update. So there's many different ways that you can set your permissions. But I think the very powerful one, which many people forget about, is uh, just the pure viewing which from an IP perspective can be beneficial. Um, also, you can just give a, get a link and, and generate a link, which uh, I'll, I'll post it on my blog post, uh, just so that you can actually start playing with it. So this is, in essence, uh, an easy way to share your models, which just leverages uh, the tools that you already have with Ship Constructor and, and um, even the Enterprise Platform or, or just Navisworks 
batch, which can just load a file into any uh, directory, which uh, automatically gets synced with the cloud. And once you pass that link to um, your partner, your subcontractor, they will be able to get the most up-to-date version of that model. So it's a pretty elegant and easy way and free way for most people that have subscription. Hopefully it was useful.